What's up guys, I hope you're all well. Chadio here. Today, it's Friday, and we're back for part two of the Four Ronnies Friday with The Taxidermist, part of the Comedy for Elf series with the two Ronnies in it. If you're new here, hit the subscription button, ring the bell, also leave a comment and a thumbs up down below. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh man! Don't taxidermists like take dead am animals, animals? Yeah, probably should watch more comedy for El um and stuff them. Sounds like Ronnie Barker has a live horse in the in the studio. Bring out your dad. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Wow. Putis? Yes? Mr. Patsy Peregrine Putis? Of Putis, Piston and Parsons? <laughs> Licensed taxidermist to the gentry? I have that honor, sir. In what way can I help you? Detective Inspector Glib of the Metropolitan Police. Uh -oh. I've been sent here to ask you various questions about several complaints we have had, and I think you might know what we are talking about. Oh, God! He's also a veterinarian, so... You know, some people don't get their pets back, but eh, it's, it's whatever, you know. They can get them as stuffed animals. That works, too. I don't even begin to guess, sir. Then let's not beat about the bush, Mr. Putis. It is alleged that on the 12th of January this year, you did, in your capacity as a licensed taxidermist, stuff a creature that was not, in fact, dead. Namely, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Arthur George Henshaw, five newbie terrorists, Peckham. It is further alleged that on the same date you did willfully and maliciously stuff his wife, Mrs. Hey. Hey. Their two sons, Malcolm and Dennis, their next old neighbor who had popped in for a Tupperware party, <laughs> the relief milkman, two traffic wardens, and the local Avon representative. <laughs> I've got to get the Avon representative. Four lollipop ladies, three ice cream vendors, Mr. Herbert Bezik, an employee of the Parks Department, Two visiting rabbis, a double glazing salesman, and the Catford Salvation Army. <laughs> yes? What do you mean, yes? Well, what's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem? You have stuffed and mounted 34 perfectly healthy people with a perfect right to live and a double glazing salesman. <laughs> and you say, what is the problem? Have you ever any idea what premature stuffing can do to the career credentials of a person? No. There are not a lot of vacancies for bank tellers these days. <laughs> not all either, Mr. Putis. I don't know what you're talking about. We have reason to believe that you did also stuff three members of Her Majesty's Cabinet. You can't prove that. No, unfortunately we can't. <laughs> but if we ever find out which three they are... <laughs> You will be in very severe trouble. Because the penalties will be Charles, a step at Prince your victims. Philip and <laughs> do you realize, Prince Rupert. Do you know what you can get for stuffing Mr. Norman Tebbit? <laughs> the Queen's a war for industry, I see. <laughs> I don't think you're taking this too seriously, young man. I mean, there's far too much of this thing going on. How would you feel if a perfect stranger came up to you and started ramming... Well, well I mean... They... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get a grant from a GLC. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a grant from a GLC Arts Committee. The GLC Arts Committee, in its infinite wisdom, gives you money for this barbaric exercise? Yeah, mm -hmm. why not? It may just be stuffing people to you, Constable, but to me and Ken Livingston, it is a means of vital self-expression. <laughs> self-expression? For too long, the art of taxidermy has been stifled as a truly aesthetic medium by social constraints. <laughs> I mean, where's the challenge in stuffing dead animals all the time? I want to probe different areas. I want to go into life subjects. I want to capture the human essence in one bold, brass state <laughs> for, for, for perpetuity. I mean, this is no challenge to me. Oh, this is all hack work. This is to a man of my sensitive talents. I am a heartache. You're a flaming loony. <laughs> <laughs> you're not <my> stuffed. <laughs> You're not lovely stuffed and mounted. You would a mounted policeman. <laughs> 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 Fool, <laughs> 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 Well, you see, 
had a bet with woman police constable Hodges. She said you wouldn't fall for it, but I knew damn well you would. Oh, yes, you I... gave me all that dodgy information. Yeah, all about oh, stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah, thanks for setting him up personally. Yeah, he really went for it, didn't he? And you were in there listening all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, me and woman police constable Hodges, yeah. she's in the beer over there. Oh, <laughs> <in> the <bed. laughs> just a minute, just a minute. What do you mean, woman police constable lodges in the bear skin? Well, she's in there. She's inside the bear. <laughs> I did that bear this morning. Oh, no! Oh, Doris! Doris, speak to me! Speak to me! Oh, I'm sergeant! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'd like to do to you, don't yeah, you? Yeah, don't say it. I might do it. <laughs> Well, crap, if I would have known, <clears throat> excuse me, this was this was about an April Fool's joke, I would have probably recorded it for April Fool's Day. I'm only three months off, give me credit, I was close, three months off, uh, but uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching, stay safe, and if there's any two wrong you want me to react to, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to wash your hands, bye.